What's going on YouTube family? You know what time it is. It's your boy Jonathan Evans and today you don't want to miss it because we're going to talk about how to overcome fear. Let's get into it. Let me start this off this way. Your greatest successes will always be on the other side of conquering your greatest fears. Let me say that again. Your greatest successes will always be on the other side of conquering your greatest fears. Fears are the greatest block for any human being in getting into their destiny and accomplishing their purpose and moving forward in what God is calling them to do. Fear is what stops them. And we know 2 Timothy lets us know, chapter one, God has not given you the spirit of fear. He's given you the spirit of love, power, and discipline. That's not something that comes from God, but that's something that we feel and that's something that we experience anytime we're asked to express faith because faith is a risk. Listen, when you use faith, when you give uh, birth to risk, it's because faith is conceived. It's one of those things in your life where God is asking you to produce faith and faith is conceived and it means that you have to take a risk. It means that you have to go out on a limb. It means that you actually have to trust God and what he's calling you to do and in comes the fear. But I wanna talk about where that fear comes from. That fear really comes from how you feel about yourself and whether you think yourself or is really going to be able to accomplish what God says. You're looking at your purpose and you're looking at your purpose in light of your insufficiencies. And when you see your purpose in light of your insufficiencies, then fear sets in. Fear sets in because what you see out there seems to be much bigger than what you see in here. Fear sets in, let me say that again, because what you see God taking you to seems much bigger than your ability to actually accomplish it. And so it's really your low self-esteem, the inability to think highly of what God has instilled in you and who God is inside of you to accomplish what God wants to do through you. And then fear sets in, and once fear sets in, faith is not accomplished and no risk will be taken. And let me tell you something, you cannot step on the other side of that Jordan if you're not willing to take the risk. You cannot conquer the land that God is calling you to conquer if you're not willing to take the risk. You cannot move into your destiny if you're not willing to take the first step. You cannot get to your end game and what God is calling you to do if you allow fear to control your function over faith controlling your function. And that's what people do all day long. Listen, that's what I did for so long. I can't tell you how often I looked at myself in light of my dad's stage, in light of what God was calling me to do, in light of uh, coming in to become the chaplain of the Dallas Cowboys at only 29 years old, and the fear of being uh, the same age and the peer of those players and coming in to teach them the word and the Bible. There's so many times in my life where I had to step forward and ignore my fear in order to accomplish what God wanted to do in my life. And so a lot of times you're gonna have to look at not you, but God's work in you and what he wants to do through you in order to overcome the fear so that you can step out in faith. I, ne I need you to understand this because I want all of us to succeed. I want all of us to go to the next level. I want all of us to step out. And we have those questions. Well, what if I can't do it this way? You know, what if I'm not gonna be able to, to, to say all the right things? What if I'm gonna make mistakes? What if I'm, I'm not gonna be good enough? Those are the, the questions that we ask ourselves that makes fear get bigger. You remember Numbers 13, where uh, uh, Joshua and Caleb and the boys went to spy out the land, and they came back to Moses with the report, and most of the men were saying, we're like grasshoppers in their sight. We're small and they're big. So they made their analysis based on the size of the people that were in the land that God told them to conquer. God told them to conquer and take a land that had big people in it. And they looked at the people and said, we can't do it. We're not big enough. They're too big. So we can't accomplish. They were looking at the size of the people instead of the size of the God that told them to go conquer the people. 
They were looking at the size of the obstacle instead of the size of the God that called them to the obstacle. Yes, there are going to be obstacles. Yes, there are going to be problems. Yes, things are not always going to be perfect. And that will conjure up fear. But God is calling you to conjure up faith much bigger than your fear so that your faith can crush your fear and you can actually go take the land. God said it was theirs. God said it belonged to them. So it doesn't matter that they seem small as long as you see God big. And that's really the problem, isn't it? God's not big enough. That's really the problem with our fear is not just how we're looking at ourselves, but really how we view God. We don't view God as big enough for this big problem. We don't view God as big enough to be able to handle this big interview. We don't view God as big enough to be able to handle this big stage. We don't view God as big enough for me to be able to walk in my marriage and accomplish it, even though I haven't had anybody in my family's history actually do it right. We don't view God as big enough. So it's not only that we view ourselves small, we also view God small because whether we're looking at ourselves or God, we still have too much fear to accomplish anything by faith. I need you to understand this and kind of put it in perspective because I had to learn it in my own life, how to conquer fear in order to actually produce faith because you're always going to give birth to a risk when faith is conceived. When God is calling you to faith, it naturally means risk is going to be a part of it. But if God is calling you to it and you feel the spirit of God pushing and prodding you, I need you to look at who God is, the one who's calling you, not just the giants that are in the land that he's calling you to. Notice what even Moses said when he was called in Exodus 3. Moses said, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? In other words, that self-doubt had came into Moses and conjured up this fear that made him unwilling to take the risk, give birth to risk, when God was calling him to faith. When God had conceived faith in him and said, listen, this is what I'm calling you to do. This is what I'm conceiving you. That means you're gonna give birth to risk. And when he knew that that's what was coming, he said, "I, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? He looked at himself. And when he looked at the calling, that made him look at himself and see his insufficiencies in light of where God was calling him. Tell me we don't do that all day long. I know I did it in my life and I'm glad I moved forward in what God said and not how I felt or I'd be doing nothing. If fear determines your function, what great things will you actually accomplish in your life? Moses said in Exodus 3:11, "Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh?" You know what God said in Exodus 3:14? God said, "I am that I am." Notice, Moses said, "Am I?" God said, "I am." See, a lot of times we have the personal pronoun for God in the wrong position. We're saying, "Who am I that I can get this done?" And God is saying, "It's not about who you are." It's about who I am. Who am I to make this thing happen? It's not about who you are. It's about who I am. And we need to learn to switch the personal pronoun so that we can crush our fear with our faith so that we can move forward to what God is calling us to do. Listen, how do you conquer your fear? How do you get that done? <laughs> There's only one way to do it. You look fear right in the eyes and say, I'm going with my faith. I feel the fear, but my feet are moving in faith. While I feel it, I will still do it. While I'm wanting to go backwards, I'm still gonna go forward. You actually have to look at fear as a defense that you are called to play offense against to push him or, 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 or it forward or out of your way as you move because movement is the only way to conquer fear. You can't conquer fear just talking about it. You can't conquer fear just trying to uh, uh, simply pray about it because God is waiting for your movement 
a lot of times to answer your prayer. A lot of people think we're waiting on God and God is saying, no, I'm waiting on you. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond all that you can ask or think according to the power that works in you. See, a lot of people don't finish that verse. They get excited about what God is able to do, but God is looking at you to determine what he will do. And he's waiting for us to take the first step. Who am I is not the question. I am that I am is your answer. And when you can take steps of faith based on that, which embedded in that is a risk that will be delivered when you start moving, that risk based on that faith that is conceived will produce a function that will carry you to your future. That's how you conquer fear. That's how you experience your future. It's time to start moving. God is waiting. And trust me, he has more time than all of us. So you don't want him waiting too long because it's not his time that runs out. It's our time that runs out. And then he'll just move on to the next person to see if they're gonna choose faith over fear or if they're gonna choose fear over faith. The choice is yours. It's time to get moving based on who he is in spite of who you are. Listen, be steadfast, unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord and know that it will not go in vain. Listen, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. You know people in your life that need to hear it. We want to share it. Why? Because we don't want to be here for nothing. We want to accomplish the purposes of God in our life by conquering fear. Till next time, let's go.